Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. We will continue with this project. All right, so this is where we left off the last time. We were able to save our names to a file. So today, let's go ahead and run it. So we are able to add, we are able to delete, and we are able to save to file. Perfect. So now we want to be able to modify an already added name by right clicking here right now if you right click nothing happens but we want to make that happen in this video so let's go ahead and cancel out and we will actually make this change on the contest on the list box menu so let's go ahead and Now let's go ahead and add a And bingo, let's go ahead and go over here and do a go to definition. All right, let's run it and see what, what it looks like. All right, so when we come up here and right click, perfect, we have a change name. Then when we click on it, nothing happens right now, but let's go ahead and make something happen. I think we can squeeze all of this in this one video. So let's go ahead and do another if statement, kind of like what we did here on the delete. Delete name, we want to introduce a this was generated we don't need that let's delete it all right so if list box name dot selected item is not equals to null then we can change change it um list dot selected item as let's I believe we have names model selected item as model then we want to do first name is now equals to so we want to change it let's make let's keep this simple right now let's use whatever we have on this text box let's change it to that name right so let's go ahead and do that change it to user control entered user control entered name dot text limited input dot text file all right that should be that should be great. So let's go ahead and run this and uh, see what happens. All right, so now we have Fred, but we want to change it to Alfred. Let's go ahead and right click and change name. 
Uh oh, it's not coming up. Uh oh, it's not working. However, when we go back to here, so let's let's um put a breakpoint here. Let's check if we are actually making all these changes. So remember, I have changed this. I think I've changed this too. Let's go ahead and change another one. So now let's go ahead and go to our. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go to this. Uh, let's see. So when our list box changes, the data binding will update our model. Before we do that, let's cancel out of this and let's um you know what before we do that let's not do that let's go ahead and because we know that when we do an add the model will update so let's do a bunch of change and bear with me here so right now we want to change all of this to alfred because we have alfred here right so let's go ahead and change it change it change it now let's go ahead and add Chad. Hopefully when it updates, we will update with the new names here. No, it did, it did not. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Okay, that did not work. Let's go ahead and... Uh, first... First name, let's go ahead and just put it right here. We want to inspect this. Um, okay, we just want to inspect it for now. So let's, a little debugging today, huh? But this is getting to somewhere, trust me. This is getting to somewhere because there's, a, there's something that we want to introduce very soon. So let's update this to Alfred and let's go ahead and inspect this. It should be Fred. Now it's Alfred, right? See? So we are updating our observable list. So let's continue. And if we change this to, then let's go in there. The first one is still Alfred, right? Change to Alfred. This second one change to Alfred, but the third one should still be Jack, right? Yep. And this and this one should still be Adha, right? Yep. So we are updating the object. However, let's change Jack, Jack here. So let's go back to number three. Uh, it's still at that. Number two is now Alfred. So we are updating the observable uh, observa observable collection however our update is not being affected by the um by the list box so we are going to fix this on the next video <laughs> and that will introduce us to something very important in regards to data binding as well so i hope this was helpful and uh, if you cannot wait to um, see the next video how we fix this go ahead and subscribe and when we show it um the next series or the next video you'll be able to you know see how we, we are able to solve this but before i sign out let's go ahead and commit um these changes and I know, so this is the delete. The last commit we did was delete. So we had two different series that we did not, we, we need to commit. So let's go ahead and do a fetch. Um, zero outgoing, zero incoming. So um, this will be added uh, function to save and, uh, um, and change change uh, name without data binding update on list box. All right, that's a mouthful, but I will see you or talk to you later. Bye-bye.